Hello everyone, my name is Jose from Studio Square Architecture and in this video we are going to explain how to review electrical fans. Let's get started. We are going to send you a PDF that is going to have your floor plan here on the left side and on the right side there is, there is going to be some notes at the top and the legend here at the bottom. So the way of reviewing this electrical plan is going room by room, checking the different symbols that we are proposing and then finding these symbols here in the legend to see what those are. So as an example, let's go to this bedroom and let's, as we can see there are these four symbols with a square and a circle inside. So if we go to the legend, we can find it here and we can see that this is for a 4 inch user scan down. Okay, if we go again to the plan, we can see that there is a dash line here joining these four lights. And this is because these four are in the same circuit. So these dash lines are always going to reflect the circuit. And as you can see, the circuit comes also here to this other symbol with an S and a D. So if we go here to the legend, we will find the same symbol and we can see that this is for a dimmer switch. So if we go again to the bedroom, there will be other symbols like this that are for outlets. This one here for a data outlet, the smoke detector. And here there is another light in this closet that is connected to this other switch. These notes here that we have here at the top are going to reflect some important items that we want to incorporate for your electrical plants. So for example, here we are showing the furnace in the attic and we will show other important elements like if for example we are proposing radiant heating or things like that. But we are going to be more focused now reviewing the legend and the different symbols. We have here at the top some symbols for lights. These two are for recessed can down lights. The first one is for flat ceilings and the second one is for slope ceiling. Then we have here a directional arc down light. The next one is for LED light. Then these two are for large and small pendant lights. And these other two are fluorescent lights. The small one is for under cabinet or closet lighting. And the next one is the fluorescent utility light that we will use normally for the garage. This other symbol here is for wall sconces and we will show them both in the exterior and the interior. So we will match the same locations where we are proposing these lights in the exterior and interior model. This other symbol here is for the LED strip lighting. Now we are going to review the switches. We have the single pole switch. The next one is the dimmer switch, the one that we were reviewing before. This will be the one that will change the intensity of the light. Then we have these two that are the three-way switch and the four-way switch. In order to explain these two, let's go to the plan. And let's see this circuit here with these six lights. And as you can see, they are joined to this switch here and also to this other switch here. So when in, a, in the same circuit we have two switches, we are going to have to show these three-way switches. While for example, for example, if we have one, two, and three switches, like in this other circuit, we are going to have to show the four-way switches. For these, um, these symbols, for example, we have here a three-way switch, but there is also a D. So this will mean that in this switch, we will have the, the dimmer switch. So even if we have this switch and this other switch here, or these six lights, this is going to be the one that is going to control the intensity of the light. Other switches are going to be this one, 
This is going to be for the fan that we will show in wet rooms. And this other one, that is the manual on auto off vacancy sensor switch. And this we are going to show it on the garage or the pantry, rooms like this where if for example the lights are uh, left on, uh, they will turn on, uh, they will turn off automatically. Other symbols here for the force air unit or the water heater. And now we can start reviewing the outlets that are these here. The first is for a duplex receptacle, two connections, then four connections here for the fourplex receptacle. When we specify this GFI, this is the ground fault interrupter. So we're going to have to show it in all the wet rooms, like bathrooms, laundry, kitchen. Then, for example, this other one here is the waterproof uh, receptacle. And we will show it in all the outlets that are outside the home. There are going to be some appliances, like for example the dryer, that they are going to need a 220 volt receptacle. So in that case, we will show this outlet. And this other outlet here is the duplex receptacle with USB port. So it's going to look like this one. It's going to have the duplex, the duplex outlet, and two USB ports. Finally, we will have this other outlet, that is the combo data, television, and power outlet. So we will have this one in places where normally we will show, or where you would like, would like us to show a TV. Another symbol here for the fan. These fans, we are going to have to show them in all the wet rooms where we have uh, a shower or a tub. Smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. This other symbol is for the wall house fan. So this fan is different. It's for, as the name says, for the, for the whole house. And uh, this is for air quality. It looks like the photo here. Finally, we will have the symbol for the sub panel. This is for furnaces that we will have in the attic. And this other one is for the ceiling mounted wire splitter. If we have two floors, we will develop the electrical plants for both floors. As you can see here, we have the first floor and the second floor. And one important thing that I wanted to mention is that here in the stairs, for example, let's review these lights here. So you can see there are these two lights and then this large pendant light. So the two lights are joined with the same circuit and then the pendant light is joined with this other circuit and they are connected to the circuit below. So if you go to the first floor, As you can see here, we have these two circuits connected to these two switches and they are connected to the circuit above. So these two switches are going to be connected to these two uh, lights and the large pendant light that we will have here. Other important elements that we will show on the electrical plants are some labels. For example, we go here in the kitchen you can see that we have some abbreviations for, for example, here the microwave, this washer, disposal, the range, the hood, the refrigerator, and others. So in addition to that, we will show sometimes a label like, like this. This one says plus 32 inches. This means that this outlet that is in this island here is going to be placed 32 inches high. For example, here, these other outlets are over the counter, so they are going to be placed 42 inches high. If we don't say anything, like if, for example, these other outlets, they will be placed at uh, a standard height of 10, 12 inches. 
once you have reviewed the different uh, rooms, you can go and uh, you can create a, a list of comments. For example, if this was bedroom three, you can let us know. Okay, I want to add uh, one outlet in the bed uh, the bed wall. Or if you are using this same program, Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can come here to the comments and add one comment saying add one outlet. Finally, um, you will see other indications like for example here exterior lights to be on photosensor, photosensor circuit. This will mean that um, it's, it's per code and we have to show all the exterior lights on photosensor circuit. And this photosensor circuit is, um, is when the lights are left on during the night and then uh, during the day they will turn off automatically with the, the sun, when the sun rises. We will show um, outlets for electric cars. And sometimes we will show floor outlets. Like for example, in spaces like this, it is important to have, or it is nice to have a floor outlet because we can have uh, connections for the sitting area or for lamps, and we don't have to have cables from the um, the wall to the seating area. Finally, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that at this stage, it is not very important the final location of the lights or the switches, outlets. The most important thing is the number of them. So, for example, changing these switches from here to there that's very easy to change uh, during construction. However, these plans are very useful for bidding purposes. So it's very important to know the number of lights that you want, switches, or things like that. Thank you very much for listening to this video from Studios Square Architecture. If you have any question while reviewing the electrical plans, just let us know. We are here to help.